Hey guys, Beanie VR here, and today we are in the most majestic world, sports mode. I haven't done a video on sports mode yet, yet, but there is going to be many coming. I promise. With you can't, I can't put my pinky because I'm on quest. But uh, I three fingers promise. Yeah. But today we're just going to be messing around and doing random stuff. And if you want me to do any, put them in the comments below, and I'll do any because. I'm bored and I have hardly any subscribers. Yay. But the I just wanted to drop that gun. But this is Dan. Dan Hello. He he's not very interactive right now. His wife just broke up with him. But we've got two really nice guns to start the video off with. We've got um, the block eighteen and the shiny gun one best, yes. Okay, so Officer Dan, salute to him because because he's good. But um, we're going to be testing these guns on him. But it's good. It's good for him because I can just keep on respawning him. Well, yeah, so I can spawn as many as I want. Uh, is in less than ten. I ignore the player on, otherwise they just come and attack me, and I don't like being attacked. Don't worry, the officer. John is very nice. I think that was his name I forgot already. But we won't. You're off of Sir John from now on. Okay, first, we'll be testing out the Block 18. It's already loaded, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, already got the bullet in the chamber. Okay, so. Dan. Hello. Okay. The first shot is going to be right up as a rectum. Because you know we are. You could survive that. Let me just knock your head off then. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But Officer Dan is alright even though his head is on the floor. I'm gonna put that there just in case one goes rogue on me. But Officer Dan is okay. Dan! It wasn't John. Uh, sorry, Dan. But we will get another Dan and your twin brother, John. It's one of the two. They're both twins. It's hard to know. But next we'll be testing out the shiny pistol gun thing, yes. This one is my favourite, because it is very brutal, isn't it, officer? Oh, John. John? Dan. Dan. John. Okay. So let's shoot your arm. Mmm, merely scratch. Yes. Yeah, that kind of hurt. Oh, you're willing. That kills you. Killer shot. And also, this is very strong for pistol whip, but Wait, I'm not doing it right. As you can see, it's been clean off. And it's the same with the block, so. So you won't be missing too much. And also, you can do like epic reload and montage stuff. But I'm not good at that stuff, so you get. So, you can put it in slow motion by pressing the button. I switched it because it's easier. But, do that. I've got the wrong gun. And you can shoot yourself. Here is your health bar. It looks like you're an emo with green blood. But, you know. And apparently you can shoot through your hand and arm. But they finally added arm um, physics, so that's the problem. So yeah, and also, if you want to be mega old-fashioned, you can get these two very most poggers guns. I, I need to get Dan and John alive again. Hello, Dan and John. Anyway, so this is a DT22. It is a very hard hitter, but we're not doing that today. We're testing the bullet. And if John, if you could just get on the floor for me, and we can like that, it does very hurt his buttocks, in fact. But if you just whack him, now he's dead. Okay, next, you have the gun that you can play Russian roulette with. Yeah, one of my favorite guns. But we're not going to be playing Russian roulette, are we, today, Dan? Are we? No, we're not. So, 
And the game that I'm going to play is going to be called Mason Ball. It involves no ball. It involves gun. Yes, most gun. Um, okay, but first we need to teach Officer Dan some gun safety. Because I own... He was gave birth to two days ago, weren't you, Dan? Okay, so... Always keep your off, your finger off the trigger until ready to shoot. And if you've got an old gun, be ready for, ready for it to discharge at any time. Oh. I can't live with... I'm gonna... Spin. Spin. Yes, it's a spin. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we're back and we're alive. Dan, John, why why are you off site, you silly goons? Come back. Hello, peoples. Now we're gonna go full crazy psychopath mode. And as you can see, this slots really nicely under his anus. Right there. Oh, the poo juice comes out. No. And it's also good for chop chopping limbs up. Very nice. Very sexy. But now we have Dan. And that just proves how easy it is to kill with these things. But now I'm going to show you. What the hell? But now I'm going to show you the most brutal weapon on earth. Get ready to be shocked with shockness. This gun is like the oh not I won't say gun, but it's okay, Dan. Kills him anywhere. Put it in his willy, you can put it in his bum, you can put it on his shoulder, you can put it on his shoulder, you can put it in his neck, you can put it on his head, you can put it anywhere and it will kill them. This is this is too OP. I'm a Fortnite kid, so it should be nerve. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> also, if you've got an Oculus Quest One or Two, or you've got a PC VR headset, Oculus Go Play is this game is not for you, obviously. You've got two hands and you need a good VR headset. <laughs> but um, you it's eight ninety nine. Seven ninety nine in Great British pounds. I'm pretty sure it's ten US dollars. I'm not sure, but I don't know about anywhere else. And also, if you're thinking about buying this game, you should. You can be superheroes. I'll show you one in this video, and I'll show you another one in the next. <laughs> I'm Thor, son of Asgard, heir to the throne. Ha! <sighs> And you can also play tag with this. It's a very fun game, I must admit. Hey, you can't get me. You're so slow. And then you can just kill him. Aha. Uh -huh. Take my three fingers. Loser. Anyway. I'm going to show you some more guns. Because the assault rifles are very poggers. So I've shown you all the pistols and that gun. So I think we're just going to go for the MK18. Yeah. yeah. This gun is very modern, very tactical pog. Mm -hmm. So we've got Dan in. Daniel. Hello. Anyway, um, well, you can hold it in either this way or this way. Either way, it's fine. You can do whatever you want. But I'm just going to display how this gun works. You get a sight, shoot him in the woolly. I'm British, by the way. So I don't know why you can't slap this mag out. Well, you kind of can. But it's not actually in the gun. Because you kind of have to press the mag eject button. Get it out. Anyways, so we got Dan back. Good Dan, he's a good boy. Um, and now we're testing out the MP5. Mm hmm. 
the MP5 is a very nice gun. It's like very American. So if you're American and you're watching this, sorry, it might be a bit offensive. But this is your average American household gun, just like the Block 18. But Dan, oh, by the way, he's suffering from trauma. But, um, so basically, that kills him because you're a weakling, aren't you? That one you can actually slap off, which I find really cool. But you can just hold him hostage because if you move, he dies. And basically, that's how he dies. And yeah, that's it for this gun. It's very good if you're good with aiming, because it's kind of all over the place. But if if you're good at aiming, use this gun. Yeah. Anyways, on to the dance. Hello. Welcome back to the world. Next, we have the MP5K, which is basically the little baby aim MP5. Now, this one is pretty much the same, but it's got a Merc grip, and it works better with this one. Chad and Reiner's booty, and all the juice came out. This also works with mag slap. So, very, it's harder to do the catchy thingy with. But, yeah, poggers. Next gun we have the professional off license gun. The, the uh, AK 47, or if you're a nerd, AK M. So, come in, Dan. Dan, you're, you're slacking lately. So, I'm going to give you a promotion. That, and it's promoted to death by AK. I don't know why, but it's really tempting to shake your knees. What do it? Wait, can you slap it while it's in the air? I guess not. Not the mag gun. Pop it in. Tactical reload with Mason. Yeah. On to the next gun. Now we're moving on to the shotgun area. The shotgun. We've already tested out the D22 when you snap. Yeah, wow. Well, uh, but now we have you good old fashioned um, British SWAT shotgun. Yeah, this is uh, like a British gun. If you see, ever see a gun in Britain, which you probably won't, but you see a lot of airsoft models like these. Uh, so. Without further ado, let's shoot this bahooty. Oh damn, all out of bullets. What are we gonna do? That's just too fun. If you ever want to feel sad just come into this it's very stress relieving and you can turn on super strength so you just get a huge crate just poke poke and you can knock massive big crates so you can jump really high it's quite satisfying if you ask me okay next we're onto the beautiful omelets and Officer Dan, please report to the world. You need Officer Dan. Hello. But we're gonna test out the kunai. Yes, I am now Wraith. Yeah. They come to. By the way, this game is not on PSVR. So if if you get if you've got a PSVR or you're planning to get a PSVR VR two, um, you won't be able to play this game, unfortunately. Oh. Yes. Stab him in the eyes. Sort them out real nice and clean. But this gun is for people who like some old fashioned Assassin's Creed Apex Legends style gameplay. You can feel poggers. And you can also do knife throwing, which is really cool, but it has to be a object. Come here, box. But I don't think you can do it onto hard objects. And in fact, no, you can't. 
What? The next weapon, Officer Dan. Hello, welcome back. We have the Katana slices and dices. Oh crap! So I'm just gonna go straight into this. There you go. And here you get ninja vibes. You can put yourself in the air. And you know, very poggers. That was a very quick review of that gun. But now, probably one of the coolest weapons in the game Wolverine Claws. Go to your any enemies. I'm easy. Nice and easy to kill. Very poggers, very shiny, very sharp. Will do you good in 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 your life. But next we have the Assassin's Blade, which you also need to uh, kind of like the um blade, the uh, claws thing in my box. That you call them. Yeah, uh, you like you hold them with two hands. And um, I don't know why, but it gives me Assassin's Creed vibes. I think it might be out of an Assassin's Creed. Tell me which one if it is in the comments, or I'm just downright dumb. But yeah, Officer Dan, all the torture you've been through. I think we should just have it. no. We're saving good content for later. Copied content that is. Knock his face clean off. And this gun is, oh, not gun. this weapon is good if you would like to feel like a, like a battle person, winners, pop, gamer, yes. Um, but next we have the, one of my most favourite, actually quite new weapons for the game, Fire Axe. You just bonk people. Chef. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to show that a few times, but I haven't done maybe this gun in slow motion, so beheaded. And by the way, YouTube, please don't take down my video. It's not real violence. It's just a dummy. And 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 oils. It's not blood or anything. So if you think it's real, you are just smelly. And you subscribe to James Charles. But if if you don't take my video down, then you you're uh, you're supporting the person that made Coco Melon. Unfortunately, not me, but you are. Hello, sir. We have requested your acquaintance. I would say the crowbar isn't the greatest weapon. I mean, it's good for going down the zip lines and climbing onto things. But I wouldn't really use it as a weapon unless you're making like a funny video or or you're trying to break into someone's house. But yeah, that's it for the crowbar because it's probably one of my least most favourite weapons, but it's also quite cool. If that's what I want to say. And next, we've already already kind of tested it out, but it is. The crowbar. Now this one I like to call Big Bertha because I'll just give you a hint. I think that was a good enough hint for you. But this weapon is good if you wanna, you know, like, kill someone very nice, very saucy. But other than that, this weapon is chunky, and it's made by Old Fashioned Stainless. Yeah, and you can be Thor with it, so it's poggers. So, bye. And next weapon on the list we have is the baseball bat. Or if it's from the UK, the rounders bat. But, this is very good if you want to hit a home run. Or a rounder. Whatever you want to call it. I'll just give you a hint. That it's just hilarious. I don't know why, but it is. So, next weapon on the list. We're nearly at the very end of this video, so if you haven't already, like the video. And also, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll show up to your house 
with with uh the, the syringe and we'll have a very nice time oh i will have a nice time <laughs> but just do it and i'll give you a free pizza it'll be delivered to your house in under two seconds and i'll prove it uh, subscribe and get dominoes or or whatever you like pizza uh dan Stand up a minute. I just need to. You've been a very naughty boy. Come here. Bad child. Why am I flying? But basically, that's the zappy boy out of context. This is if you want like a futuristic police zap zap kind of vibe. And also, it's really powerful. I'm just gonna do it again, because in slow motion, because he just needs more respect. His bottom ankle fangle came off. Look, now he looks weird. And also, nearly to the end of this video, I just wanna teach you a tiny thing. Well, I'll have a little surprise at the end of the video. Carry on watching. The more poggers for dummy elimination death. Yes. So, and now, once you've ripped off all the limbs, got this cute little guy. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> anyway, I need to trick those sucks away. If you heard that, <laughs> yeah, I'm in, I, I'm in my conservatory, so I'm, so people are going to be walking in and through and stuff. But just don't offend me. Yeah, I, I can't edit videos. It's not my fault. Anyway, the last but not least, definitely not least, is the brass knuckles. What, low off of Emma? Damn. But these are too strong. Yeah, even be a thing. It's just like the bathroom. You punch him anywhere and the head comes off. Silly. Really is. What the surprise I have for you. Well, first you got to subscribe. Because I know you haven't. Uh, and you, you won't get that pizza. I have nips. Anyway, just subscribe. I'll give you five seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, and if you didn't, you're a, you're a bad person, and and the cocoa melon will be upon you. Will does not like you. Mm, take that, poggers. Whoa, I keep a number. But the surprise I have for you, a very good surprise. Trust me. So you get these. Turn them up to full power. Uh, get some of these bad boys on your hand. Get a thruster remote. Grab the thruster remote. Come here, you little thruster remote. <laughs> you have to find the right, perfect hand position for the thruster remote. And then you plug it in. Put it in. Ow. There is a height limit, so make sure you don't hit it. But you can go forward, you can go backwards, you can go downwards. And basically, now you're Iron Man if you haven't figured out if it was already. And you can basically. Because that's how we are on, on the beginning of your channel. But I need to get these massive things off my hands. So, remove. I literally only just found out that was a thing. Oh, you can move as well, that's cool. But, what I've been wanting to show you the most. Okay. So we get that. And we need Officer Dan, where is he? Yes, Officer Dan, hello. Now, we need a balloon. 
we need the balloons spawner. But first things first, we need, we need to kill you. There you go, off so down. Anyway, this one hurts a bit, trust me. Let me just put him out. Look at him. The oh, right. Silly me. Got about that. I'm not tall enough because I calibrated my height and now I'm tiny. We need to grab on. Um, oh look, there's you. Creepy. But anyways, so now that I could have just spawned in a ragdoll zombie, but you know, I have to be. We need Dan himself to do it. So, so get the shotgun, shall we? Get his high in there. Come on down. Stop being silly. I'm gonna tell your parents <laughs> that you're up all night. Uh oh. Okay, I've done it. Okay, so now we need a balloon. No, my headset power is low. Uh, I think it might have just cut out. I'm not sure if it has. Uh oh. Well, by done. I keep on going. Salami, see you later. <laughs> so basically, you need to do this. So now we're high as we can. We get cool. Oh. Yeah. Remove all them. Oh my god, all of a sudden this weird thinking. Ah, Dan will die. I should have just removed the trolley to be honest. But you know. Why am I flying? I don't wanna fly. Uh anyway, that brings the end to this video. I hope you liked it. and if you did, you are the most poggish person that I have ever met. Yeah, and that's a fact. But I'm currently stuck up here flying, so I'm going to reset my game and carry on playing, but you guys are going to go watch other videos because I'm obviously boring now, because my videos are finished. But if you haven't already, like, subscribe, yeet, pog, most, all that. Okay, see you in the next one.